Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Daily Crypto News Show. We're a bit uh, later than usual because there were so much things to do. Uh, so what are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about the state of the market. And God, it's moving so, so fast. It's it's incredible and kind of uh, it feels like uh, <laughs> the ICO boom all over again, but for different reasons and probably much more sustainable. We're going to talk about the reasons why Bitcoin has been exploding over the past few days and especially yesterday. We're going to talk about th Tether's market cap that um, grew north of $17 billion and why this helped actually uh, Bitcoin to go up. And we're going to talk about uh, Vitalik Buterin that sends $1.4 million worth of Ether to the ETH 2.0 staking system. So let's get to it. So first thing first, uh, Bitcoin sitting at 15.5k. Uh, which is up 15% over the past few days. The elections have a lot to do with it and a bunch of other things we're going to talk about. Ethereum has been having a tremendous uh, 24 past hours and a bunch of altcoins are also rallying. Or even if I will tell people to be cautious with smaller altcoins as they can go down as much as they went up. Uh, but it's crazy to think that Bitcoin is now closer to 20k than it is to 10k. And 15K seems to be like a, a good support at the moment. So what happened? We went up, the moving average is going up. We're sitting north of it. There is a lot, a lot, a lot of volume. This is really important when you have bull run. Volume has been tremendous at $1.2 billion over the past 24 hours. This is incredible. And this is for a few reasons. Of course, um, macro uncertainty. So money printing is going to come back really fast from doesn't matter who wins and actually the latest news we have is Joe Biden is probably going to be the next president as uh, he's ahead in most of the uh, states that uh, are counting votes at the moment. So let's hope we have no violence in the US, but uh, it seems uh, Joe Biden will be the next president of the United States. So the US dollar currency index has been going down as usual, but this is just over the past three days. So you can see that actually USD is depreciating really fast, which is kind of crazy when you see on the opposite side uh, Bitcoin going up. So this makes Bitcoin even more valuable. Uh, we have also a lot of open interest that happened not only recently, but for the past weeks after the BitMEX uh, drama. And this is coming from um, most of it institutional investors, which is really good and it's been growing steadily which means that it's a lot of institutional investors and not just one or two and let's not forget that even if bitcoin has been performing up to 97 percent year to date ethereum is having also a really really good year performance is 210 percent at the moment so why did bitcoin explode so uh tether also played a role. We're going to talk about it in other news. Uh, Connect to rise institutional investment. Micro strategy played a large part. We have also something else. PayPal came in. You know, it was a big news. But we also have a feedback from Square. And at the moment, just taking the Square app and uh, how much Bitcoin are purchased um, since uh, Q3, we can see that actually twice as much Bitcoin were purchased on the only Square app in Q3 than there were Bitcoin produced during the same period of time. So just one app is consuming, let's say, not consuming, but is as a buying power, the demand for twice as much as all the Bitcoins produced during the, the Q3. So if we had PayPal, if we had, if we had institutional invest. Uh, interest and investment this is this means the demand is astonishing and this is why even with a huge leg up and all the signs that bitcoin might be overbought at the moment uh, it might just continue be mark my word it might not be the same thing for let's say smaller altcoins i'm not talking about ethereum but for smaller altcoins so what happened with status so it broke uh, 17 billion dollars this is for different reasons but it is basically a way for a lot of, uh, we talked a lot about it, but a lot of other countries uh, with less stable currency or if they want to escape their monetary regimes such as China, South Africa, Turkey, Argentina, Venezuela, Bolivia, like you name it, to just have a more um, stable currency. And this is the first step that they need to do in order to buy Bitcoin. 
So this is what has been fueling actually Bitcoin, uh, it seems. And this is also quite an interesting tweet. If you take one USD in Bitcoin, so Bitcoin will help a lot, but you can see that in Bitcoin terms, USD is really, really depreciating. So also something really important and uh, that kind of uh, confirms the fact that it's mostly institutional investors um, that have been uh, making this rally or companies. It's that uh, Google search of Bitcoin. Uh, it's been low as it's been low for the past uh, two, two, three years. It's nowhere near what happened during the crazy ICO boom and the crazy uh, 20K Bitcoin run. So imagine if we have now a retail interest three years later on these numbers and with Bitcoin already sitting at 15K, wow, that would be like, a, <laughs> that, that would be something. So we talked about it, the market cap surpasses, it fuels Bitcoin, you can see here a more detailed view, I think. So you have Tether, but you have a bunch of other ones like QUSD, Paxos, USD Coin, Synthetics, you have a bunch of other ones that have also been growing in interest. Uh, and this is really positive for the entire crypto ecosystem, even if, in my mind, uh, USDT or one of these stable coins is not really crypto, as uh, it's just uh, USD backed for most of them uh, cryptocurrencies. Vitalik Buterin is putting his money where his mouth is, so he just um, sent 100 transactions with 32 ETH each to run nodes uh, for the. Um, staking portal of ETH 2.0. At the moment, they have more than 40,000 um, Ether staked. Uh, they expect maybe the network to go live in early December and they need more than 16,000 validators equivalent to more than half a million uh, Ether. So this is interesting. And even if we are really in a positive mood and crypto is going up, Bitcoin is Acting like crazy, it seems we have a new altcoin bull run at the moment. I will advise everyone to be extremely careful. We are in the extreme greed side of uh, the equation at 90 out of 100. And I would just like you to see this is this indicator over the past three years. We had reached kind of the same level back in late August 2020 before we corrected a bit. And we reached this kind of numbers in June 2019 so there's probably more time in the medium to long run and um, 100 positive bitcoin will be upwards of the 15k but at the moment i'm just being cautious and i'm not sure i'm gonna get in and uh, i will advise you to just if you do please uh just do not leverage too much opposition to be able to uh let's say take a hit if the bitcoin price is trending down this is not financial advice but it's just my my two cents and also we have a lot on our plate we have a contesting election even if it seems that it will be biden in the end it's never good to have a divided country we have covid our all-time high let's not forget this we had 600 new 600,000 new cases yesterday 600 new more than half million new people were infected so we have to stay cautious. The state of the economy is really, really bad, which is good for Bitcoin. But as usual, I'm really positive Bitcoin medium long term. Altcoins, I'll be really, really more cautious. So this is all for today. Uh, sorry for being late. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.